Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, my name is Jamie McCracken. Thank you so much for joining me again for another adventure here on the YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. Today, I'm in Franklin, Tennessee, just up the road, actually, from where I live here in Franklin, and I'm in a really uh, richy, wealthy neighborhood as every neighborhood is in Franklin, Tennessee. I mean, it is the 12th wealthiest county in America with Williamson County, Tennessee. But nonetheless, I am going to hike a trail today. It's right behind me. I'm doing the Ridge and West Slope Trail. The trail starts here at the Grassmere Trailhead and there's a 24 hour video surveillance. I'm sure it's because we are in a really nice neighborhood. But nonetheless, let's start the hike. We're looking at just over four miles today. Here is the first split coming up. You'll see here on the Grassmere Trail right there, just like 0.35 as you saw on the sign back there. This one will take you over to Wild Elm. Pretty sure it's a dead end. So we want to head right to go up this hill. Maybe when we come back, we'll go down there, but it looks like it's just a dead end. It's not like a loop or, or anything like that. It would just be an out and back, maybe another, I don't know, quarter of a mile. So we are headed up now on the big slope. I have come across two armadillos right in front of me, just eating insects off the ground. Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh. This is so cool to have just a close encounter with these things. I don't even think they're, they think I'm here. Okay, we've seen some wildlife now. So <laughs> just a couple of armadillos, you know, uh, grazing around looking for some insects on the forest floor here. Wow, that was really, really cool. Okay, I've come to another divider. So we were on the Randy Ridge Trail, which is about a mile or so long. We can continue on the West Slope, which was the first plan of the day, or we can connect uh, or continue to go on the, the Randy Ridge, or we can connect to the, the East Slope. And right now, I know the sun is out, but I've hiked about 40 or 45 minutes, and there is a 50% chance of thunderstorms for the next couple hours. So I kind of want to get back because I really don't want to get caught up into that. But this is an awesome trail and I've had a lot of fun today, even in this just short little adventure. So I'm going to try to loop this back around and do the east slope instead of the west slope and see how that goes. Right, these look like deer tracks. Somebody in the comments, if you want to, tell me if I'm right or not. Looks like there's one over here too. So, there you go. I have found my favorite little oasis here in Franklin, Tennessee. Check this out. Just off of the east slope on the trail, 
is this beautiful oasis. Okay, this is the part where we come out to the housing development. <laughs> All right, it's, it's part of the trail, right? This is a lot more overgrown. We're just hiking. It looks like there's gonna be some new houses pop up right down through here as well. So, <laughs> We gained a little bit of elevation, but we are out in the neighborhood now. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood at least. Very beautiful. As I'm hiking back to the car on the East Slope Trail, I took a look at the weather. And I'm like, wow, blue skies now. So it looks like there's only like 30% chance of rain. So I probably could have just completed the, the ridge and the West Slope, but it gives me an opportunity to come back I can tell you right now, this is definitely something I'll revisit. It has been a lot of fun. I still got over a mile to go, but just finding that little pond oasis over there kind of made my day. And it's probably better that I didn't, you know, go on the west slope and, and finish the ridge. Uh, just make the loop here on, on the east slope. So it worked out and we're gonna continue on the trail. We got a little ways to go still, but it's been a lot of fun and I'm sweating like crazy because it's so freaking humid. It is 4th of July weekend, so yeah, when I'm filming this, it is very humid. All right, I've come to the split back to where we were earlier and we saw this sign it was on the Randy Ridge and I went up this way. The plan was to do the entire West Slope but we actually did wrap back around and go on the east slope. So I am headed back to the car, as I said just a little bit ago. Let me straighten out the camera here. Um, that was still a lot of fun. You know, you can continue on on the west, uh, the west ridge or whatever, west slope I should say. And I think it's about another mile and a half and then you'll loop back around there. Gives me an excuse to come back is the way I see it. Uh, it was still a lot of fun and i'm really excited to share this with with you guys and get back home and start editing this video back at this section from earlier where you can go down to wild elm it's basically a street residential but we're just going to continue on and head back to the car We have made it back to the trailhead. That was a lot of fun. I didn't expect to do the east slope, but I'm really glad I did because we ended up finding just a pure blissful sight with that little pond and just the nature all around us. Absolutely nobody around. And I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It definitely was yet again unplanned or unexpected, I should say. And that's the best thing is just don't come in with expectations. I was gonna do the west slope, decided, hey, looked like it was gonna thunderstorm, but of course, I don't think it's going to thunderstorm. <laughs> Either way, we did a nice, uh, nice trail today. Let me rip out the all trails for stats. Looks like we did 2.4 miles, just over an hour of hiking, about 500 feet of elevation gain. So we probably do about double if we ended up doing the west slope, which we will do next time. Uh, here on the grass mill trail grass mirror trailhead. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and until the next time guys I will see you in the next video. Peace